Now in this last part, what we have got to do is find the impulse, the magnitude of the impulse exerted on P by Q in the collision. And what I've done is I've added the final velocities that we found in the first part of the question to the diagram. So if we're going to try and find this impulse exerted on P by Q, it's going to be an impulse in this direction. I'm going to label it like this with this arrow and we're going to call that impulse I. Now Q also receives an equal but opposite impulse. So to find out what I is, that impulse, you can either work with particle P or with particle Q. It doesn't matter, you should end up with exactly the same result. I'll do it for P and as an exercise you could try it maybe for Q and see if you get the same result. Okay, so how do we work out impulse? Well, you should remember that impulse equals change in momentum. And that would mean that that impulse I is equal to mv, the final momentum, minus mu, the initial momentum. Now, impulse is a vector quantity. Direction matters. So when you're doing questions like this, whatever particle you're working on, just say to the reader what you're doing. So I'm going to consider P, but as I say, you could consider Q. Now if I'm considering P, I'm going to take the direction of the impulse, that is to the left, as my positive sense. If you're dealing with Q, take the positive sense to the right. Now, if we're doing that, then we've got the impulse I, is equal to the final momentum, so it be the mass, which is 3, multiplied by the final velocity. Now, it's 3 fifths meters per second is the speed, but it's in the opposite sense to the plus direction, so that's going to be minus 3 fifths. Then you've got minus the initial momentum, so it'll be the mass, 3, multiplied by the initial velocity. And that is now also in the opposite sense to this direction. So it's going to be minus three. So that's where you've got to be careful. Make sure you stick to your sign convention. Okay, we just need to work this out. What we've got here is minus nine fifths and here plus nine. So minus nine fifths plus nine is going to give you 36 fifths. 36 fifths and the units for an impulse are newton seconds. So check that out. Check that you can get exactly the same result if you look at Q. Alright? Make sure you take positive to the right in the direction of I and then just do the mass times the final velocity minus the mass times the initial velocity, but take care over these signs. And as I say, you should find you get 36 fifths.